And while the stay-at-home order will continue until May the 8th, I want to share some details of our plan so people can understand more about how we will gradually ease these restrictions. The first phase will look something like this when we've hit the benchmarks that Dr. Cohen described earlier. The stay-at-home order in phase one will remain in place, but it will be modified to allow more reasons to leave home, including commercial activities at any business allowed to be open, such as clothing stores, sporting goods stores, bookstores, and other kinds of retailers. Now remember, those retailers and services will still need to implement social distancing for their employees and their customers plus to enhance hygiene and cleaning, and to screen their employees for symptoms. So after a minimum of two to three weeks has passed and we continue to hit our marks and benchmarks, we can enter phase two. Here, the stay-at-home order can be lifted. Our houses of worship, restaurants, bars, and other businesses can open their doors for people as long as they operate at reduced capacity. The number of people allowed at a mass gathering will be increased. So then, after a minimum of four to six weeks has passed and we continue to hit our marks and our benchmarks, we can enter into phase three. In this phase, Population, the guidance for vulnerable populations, those at risk, they will continue to loosen. There will be increased capacity for bars, restaurants, and other businesses, entertainment venues, and houses of worship. The mass gathering ban will increase to allow more people. In all of these phases, as I said earlier, strict rules will continue to apply to nursing homes and our congregate living facilities. It's important to know that as we move through these phases, if our inspection or if our infection spike or our benchmark trends start to move in the wrong direction, we, have to, we may have to move back to a previous phase in order to protect public health. 